everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Cho. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit easier. We're going to be doing a fingerprint pineapple. For me, I feel like I want to say it's summer. I know technically is it summer yet, but it's so beautiful out and I know that everyone really enjoyed those fingerprint flowers we did and the different fingerprint techniques. So I figured let's go ahead and make another fingerprint project. So grab either your watercolors, your paints, your markers, whatever you're going to put on your fingers and let's make a pineapple to kind of celebrate the coming of the warm air. So let's go get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick our colors. Now pineapples, normally we can use the yellow, orange, and red. However, you can totally play and do mixing up the colors. You can go ahead and wet them beforehand. That way they're already ready. And it's up to you what finger you want to use. You can play with different, using different ones. I'm going to get my paints a little messy today. And we're going to start by doing three rows, then four, then four, then three in a row. And you can go ahead and you can do it a couple of times, same finger, or you can go ahead, hit up the colors. You can even press yourself back on top and see how those colors blend. So I'm going to go ahead, mix up some different colors. Now we're going to make it start to get a little bit bigger, so we're going to have five in this row and you, this is where you can play with the colors this is where you can play with the finger that you're using should you do a different finger that gets bigger as you go up the pineapple and we're just gonna keep playing And I'm okay, my paints are gonna get a little bit messy today. I'll clean them up when we're done. And I'm gonna go back on top of these. I don't like how much they change from this one to this one. So I want a little bit more red in these. And this pineapple doesn't have to look exactly realistic. And now I'm gonna go back to four. That way it's getting narrow again. And if you want it, you could do one more row or you could stop right there. I'm gonna give it two more. I thought I was gonna stop. I'm gonna give it two little ones. And now we can do that green leafy stem. I'm gonna clean off that finger. And I'm still gonna keep it with using my finger. We're not gonna use anything else today. And I'm just gonna go like this, simple little. And I'm changing up the color of the green And there we have our pineapple. What a simple little project that comes out so cute. You could go ahead and make a few of these. You could add some words on it. You could turn this into a beautiful card and send it to somebody saying, welcome summer. And you can turn this into so many different things. So I hope you guys all had a great time making these pineapples. Hopefully you had fun exploring the different colors and the different techniques. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe so you always get notified. And as always, join me tomorrow for Art with Miss Choate. And let me know if you have any feedback, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear about how your pineapples turned out. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.